Hey guys, you're watching Scoop TV. Thank you for joining us for a brand new season. And you may have a look around you and see that the surroundings are a little bit different. We have a different show for you and it's an exciting one. I have different guests joining us each week to deliver you the latest scoops in entertainment. Plus, we're going to have a crack at giving you a fashion fix. Plus, much, much more to come. I won't waste any more time, however, and introduce my guest for tonight's show. You may remember this gentleman. He is our hater from season one. And you can find this man on Nova 100, Husey and Kate, every morning, plus on the comedy circuits. Brad Elliott and Ash Williams. Welcome, guys. Thanks. How does it feel to be back, Brad? You know what? This is exciting. We're in a prime time slot. We're like up against 60 minutes and all those other shows that are on the same time on Sunday night, whatever they are. And I reckon we've got a crack at taking out the award of best, most popular show Sunday. I reckon. Yeah. Why not? I reckon we take it. And Ash, how, how are you? Be cool, Brad. Yeah. Be cool. <laughs> uh, I'm really good. Confidence is where we start. Yeah, I'm really good. Great to be here. Pretty so fired up. You know that this is an entertainment show, so I'm going to ask you, who's your favourite celeb? Look, it's close to my heart. Um, I'll take you back to Australian Idol 01, Cosima DeVito. Um, I get emotional talking about it, but uh, yeah, she came third and had to pull out <laughs> due to throat soreness, but she should have won. and. She's doing great, so big cheerio to Cosima and um, <laughs> a lot of people still behind you, babe. Cosima! Yeah. Not sure what she's doing at the moment. Singing. <laughs> she is. In the shower. No, how dare you. <laughs> Alright, let's get straight into it with our weekly scoops of entertainment. First up, Courtney Stodden kicked off Facebook. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Courtney. She married Doug Hutchinson. He's a star from Lost. Doug is 51. Courtney is 17. You can do the math. And so they made headlines at the beginning of the year when her mother apparently gave them permission to wed. And she's been kicked off Facebook. We wonder why. Her content too sexy for Facebook. As you can see in the pic here. Don't know, guys. Oh, what do we yeah. think? Ash, you're a Facebook, you're a Facebook user, as we all are, but quite excessive, and you've got rules and regulations. What do you think of her putting these pics up? Love that picture. Um, you know what? Facebook is actually for, I don't know whether you guys know this, but it's actually designed for girls to put pictures of themselves on the internet in bikinis. That's actually why Facebook was invented. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I, I respect her, and I think uh, Facebook's great. Do you know that shot? If you have a look at that shot, it looks like she's actually hot air ballooning and she's just like about to lift off, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> mm. She's very... She's got massive cans. You've got to respect her. Nah. She's, she's achieved so much <laughs> in her already short life. Brad, what about the mum? I mean, she's given permission for her to marry a 51-year-old. She's 17. What do you think? I think um, the mother, why would she even have let her out of the hospital when she was born? That's... That was my, that's my question. Let's get right to the point before it all happened. Here, here. Yeah. <laughs> Up next. We're still hearing different things about the marriage or I guess the breakup of the marriage between Ashton and Demi. Sara Lee, no, not the brand, has confessed to having a one night stand with Ashton Kutcher in his hotel suite on their sixth wedding anniversary, you dirty dog. She quoted, we had sex twice, everything felt natural, we were having a good time, one thing led to another, he was good but it wasn't weird or perverted or creepy, I was attracted to him, he was attracted to me, he had great endurance, we were, we were up for a while, it was about two hours. The story is still currently unfolding. I, uh, I don't know, I mean I never really bought the marriage from the beginning, Ash, how would you feel if you had sex with a lady and she described it not as weird or creepy. If he had sex with a lady, that would be interesting anyway. Sure. <laughs> um, I'll let you go there, mate. I would say that uh, I fooled her because I'm a weird and creepy guy. And if she's like, it wasn't weird or creepy, I'm like, you bloody ripper. So, Brad, the relationship between Demi and Ashton, I guess, I don't know, a bit sketchy? Um, could be. I think the thing that I think Ashton's going through is remember he has taken Charlie Sheen's role in Two and a Half Men and oh, that means you've got to sleep around, get hookers and put heaps of cocaine up your nose. Yeah, right. And we just went to MA rated. Mm. Harry Potter star 
Next up, arrested over involvement in London riots. Jamie Waylett, who played the Hogwarts bully Vincent Crabbe, has been charged for possessing a petrol bomb during the London rioters. Waylett is accused of violent disorder during clashes in Chalk Farm, which is north of London, and also charged with handling stolen goods. Apparently, also had some <laughs> in the old bedroom. I was smoking dope, if you weren't sure, you sure what I was it, doing it Could have been anything. And Waylett appeared in the sixth of Harry Potter films, if you aren't familiar with him, but his character was written out of the final Deathly Harrows film. He was released on bail with a 7am to a 7pm curfew. I don't know much about this, guys. I'm not a big sci-fi, Harry Potter, mm. Twilight, bullshit type of fan. Yeah. What about you guys? Yeah, doing the old BS out there. All right. <laughs> Going to loosen up and start dropping some magic. All right. Yeah, um, well, Ash, if you had magic, why would you use a bomb? Like, yeah. this guy's wasted talent. Because not everyone knows you can do magic. So people disrespect you. So the way to combat that is to walk around with a petrol bomb, you know, let people know that you mean business. You throw it at people. Throw it at people. <laughs> Just let people know oh, you're dark. the man. And if anything happens, use your magic. And, and that's it, but the petrol shows that he's not messing about with money. He's a rich guy. Get involved with him. Girls pick him up. Rich guys, unattractive, but hey, he'll look after you. Don't listen to them. Writing, bombing, bad, bad. Michael Douglas, son, Cameron Douglas, 32, is currently serving five years in prison for dealing cocaine and crystal meth. Good boy. Got his sentence cut in half by testifying against one of his former drug suppliers, which happened to be the Mexican drug cartel. So Michael Douglas could be targeted. I mean, he, the source tells National Enquirer, Michael and wife Catherine could be in great danger. No shit. Since they're out in public, they could be hunted down. This is really heavy stuff. I mean, it sounds like an episode of Weeds, which I'm addicted to. Ash, you're a fan of Weeds? You're addicted to the weed? We okay. the show, Nancy Butler. Look, uh, this Cameron blog, he's going to have a great time in jail. Jail's great. You can, <laughs> you know. Oh, this get... is really boys club. Like, yeah, bombs, tits. Mm. You can, what? no it's not. It does feel a little you bit like that. Love in jail. I can't wait for our next segment when we got a bit of <laughs> a bit girl of action. Yeah. yeah. Brad, do you think it was clever for Cameron Douglas to dob in his dad? I mean, he's in the public eye. He's a bit of a stupid douche, isn't he? Well, we haven't seen a movie of Michael's for a long time, let's face it. And Wall Street. Not... Sorry, mate, but Wall Street. How long ago? Uh, a year ago. Was Wall Street, uh, money never sleeps, hello. <laughs> Someone's a ago. fan? I love Michael Douglas. Well, anyway, I would say he's obviously run out of contracts. Get a reality show. It's going to be called Follow Douglas or Get Him Dug Under. And oh. then he could be killed. So. But um. And our last scoop of the week. Tupac sex tape song to be sold for $1 million. Seriously, isn't this guy dead? Tupac filmed a sex tape in 1991. The amateur footage had vision of Tupac rapping whilst receiving sexual favours from a woman. More bloke stuff. Anti-hangover drink company NoHo has offered to pay $1 million for the rights to the unreleased song. You can see the pic here. The figure has been reported to be big enough for Tupac's estate to consider, to consider the offer. Guys, Ash, what do you think about Tupac essentially, or his estate making money off something like this? When will it end? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm over it too. I don't know what's going on. Seriously, Tupac, um, you know, I like what you do. And you've obviously recorded a lot of stuff before you died. Um, I don't know what's going on, mate. Seriously. Oh, dear. On that note, stick with us because after the break, the fellas and I will be joined by Natasha of Arthur Avenue to give you the fashion fix for this week. Stay with us. <laughs> 